we've got the ladder now so we're gonna have a look hopefully she's all right see what we're doing so as you know I'm back at work um, doing my thing and uh, yep today or well, last night overnight it snowed for the first time since being here and here it is don't be fooled by the blue sky it's cold most all the people are in the Caribbean. Here I am, muggins. I'm gonna work for a living. But it's a gorgeous little place. All these quaint little mountain houses. Old church. I'll have a little wander around, see what there is. Quaint little streets, so I doubt you could get much more than a, uh, a small 4x4 four four up. A lot of skiing up there, more skiing there. Quite funny this time of year, everyone's, uh, everyone's itching to get back up the mountain. Everyone's just wanting the snow to return. I'm just thinking, when can I get out of here because it's bloody cold. When is it going to be 30 degrees again? When can I get rid of wearing shoes and trousers and put flip-flops back on? I could see the attraction, don't get me wrong, but still. As my dad says, why would I go on holiday and put clothes on? I have to agree with him sometimes. Yep, sooner be in a boat. It is a gorgeous day for a walk. Sunday. Beautiful. Look at this chalet, how cute it is. All the wood piled for the winter. And here's the ski fields. Yeah, this is all covered in the snow in a few weeks and people will be coming down, breaking bones. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool seeing this without the snow. This road uh, becomes a run in the winter. I think it's a blue run. But last year it was quite funny. Uh, I was with my friend and he's skiing. I'm snowboarding and he cuts a corner. He's like, oh, got to be a bit careful on that corner. Tarmac was coming through. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a great snow year last year. Only four meters. So we'll see what this year brings. I like the colors of the trees. You can see yellow green, brown, light green, it's cool. These are snow cannons for when there's no enough natural snow. How are they called in French, Stuart? Cannon de neige. <laughs> Stuart's improving his French with Duolingo. Yeah, I'm on uh, level 197. <laughs> level what? <laughs> You're level 4 or 5? I did try 197, the highest level, and uh, yeah. I got most, well, I got three wrong. That means I'm not allowed to try it. <laughs> I do like it when it's like this and there's no snow, no people. If we didn't have to walk, I will go hiking today. It's a perfect day, but we have to work. Fourteen degrees today and the snow's coming next week. It will come, it will go. Lifts open in two weeks, so we'll see. Mm. 
Beautiful. We're gonna hide some skis. Check this out. This is Marina's first attempt at going down a hill. Slowly getting my way up this run. There's Teen Village and the Grand Motts. It took me maybe an hour and 45 minutes to get up to the ski lift, <laughs> but I was going pretty, uh, pretty chilled. But yep, looks like the sun's finally rising. Look at that. Today, Marina is finally testing out her skis. Let's see how this goes. Wave to people, Marina. Hello. Hello. Ah. You might not see because the sun's there, but this is Marina's first attempt on her own skis at skiing down a little hill. Oh, it's doing pretty well. Here's Marina on her second descent. So dense. You ain't gonna relax, my love. I fell over. No, my back saw. Landed right in the middle of my shoulder blades. Ugh. <laughs> That's doing a jump. Marina seems to be doing better though. to show you what I'm about to go through. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put my goggles on and go to work. Okay, I'm ready to go. You're okay, not too bad. My path is totally gone. Look at that, look how much snow. I don't know if you can see, but.
our little apartment is gonna get buried <laughs> and we still have a few days of this big machine little machine baby machine <laughs> All the machines are on. Piles of snow everywhere. It is so cool though because we just have a few weeks left of work here to get back to the boat. So it's nice having this wintry atmosphere again. Look at that house, almost completely buried. Just finished work and it's still going. Maps to swim in the snow to get home. <laughs> there we go, get to work. Nice, I might build a snowman. I want you to meet someone. It's our new friend and he's gonna be guarding the, the house once we're not here. Look. Danny! He's <laughs> having a beer. Got a fog, Stuart says. Smoking a pine tree. <laughs> what do you think is the first? Uh, is the first snowman I've ever built? Apparently, Stuart's built before a cock and balls. Big one. A big one. <laughs> he gave up on a snowman. He gave up on a snowman. He was too boring. His new mate. Oh, I think he's so cool. He's got a blue eye and a green eye. Pretty cool. And there it is, or life in bags. <laughs> Many bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And there's Stuart who's gonna be carrying all of it. <laughs> My bag's got wheels. <laughs> Yeah, my bags don't have wheels. This is the first part of a trip back to the boat. To save the space in my bags, I'm wearing many layers and I'm sure when we get to the next stop, I'm gonna be really hot. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Apart from uh, things on wheels. Yeah, uh, traveling light, this is not traveling light. And we're going in public transport. Train, oh, bus, so... Oh, there you go, we changed the beanie for the cup. Yeah. Summer mode. <laughs> Inside these bags I have uh, three winches. <laughs> Luckily, uh, cl cleverly uh, hidden. Yeah. Plus the wind instrument. The cable for the wind instrument. <laughs> oh, pulleys, yeah, I bought a lot of pulleys. Yes, there's been stocking up on boat parts during the winter. <laughs> yeah, I've got a six to one for the um, Solent, if I had it, and then uh, four to one for the kicker and some other one. So it just all adds up, doesn't it? All this crap lands up just... Yeah, especially in weight now yeah. <laughs> to carry. <laughs> but we'll be all right. We have time. I'm just excited. I finally got a wind instrument. Yeah, we don't have a mast on, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got yeah, the wind instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it go! Look at it go! Uh. We're on the first train, and Stuart's already knackered. <laughs> Where are we, bags? <laughs> yeah, he's done most of the heavy lifting. We've got the snowboard bag there. Yep. Hopefully, there's no wheelchair <laughs> passengers. If not, we'll have to move all this. Bye bye, mountains. First change. Stuart is already hiding on the shade. <laughs> Train number two. This was a hard one. <laughs> platform was at ground level pretty much and uh, this is like a three step up train so and we're in the line of about four season airs <laughs> so we are all helping each other <laughs> bags a lot of bags <laughs> loads of bags yep get in there
Okay, part two of our trip back to the boat is starting now. <laughs> we had to stop halfway in a little room, hotel room, because the trip was too long to do in one day. <laughs> it's not that it's too. It's not that it's too long to do in one day. It's just the train doesn't go all the way, so you have to take the bus, and the bus is in every hour. Yeah, the train timetables don't match to take them all in one day. So yeah, we want to get there to the boat kind of early. And this is the last train. We're off. Now a bus. <laughs> we are almost there. On the bus now. Last bus. Yeah. And then Just gotta get a taxi. Hopefully we find a taxi, yeah. <laughs> If not, we've got like a couple of k's to walk. No, we're not doing that. We have made it here. Boats, boats, boats. Have you been down? Oh, oh so exciting. We're looking forward to riding our bikes. Uh, a little bit of air needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got my bike back. <laughs> We never got to see these because we asked a friend to, to put in the container once we had left. This is going to be our new fuel tank. It took ages for... It took ages finding it. It took ages for it to arrive. Oh, there's my bike! That's our bed that we need to put together again. It looks pretty dry in here. <laughs> Oh, baby, I missed you. Stuart's talking to his bike. <laughs> yeah, but I missed my bike. And we received these as well, and he was put in the container with cheese. A GoPro battery that someone bought from... Someone bought oh. for, from our Amazon list. So thank you. Does it say their name? Uh, um. Ah, thank you, Israel. <laughs> From Australia, keep up the good work. Oh, seems all right. What? Yeah, we're finally back. <laughs> thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us through the winter. We haven't been able to post videos, but you've still been sending us messages. There's a lot of new subscribers as well, which is quite interesting because we were not putting videos out, but I guess they're interested in the project. And we came back to some packages from our wish list in Amazon as well, and some donations. So thank you very much because it's been a hard winter and just seeing all your support has kept us going and we're finally back. There's not been a lot of boat content on this video, but we didn't want to miss that part of the story. We were in the Alps and that's what we did. We've got the whole summer and many big projects to tackle, so... Yee! Look at it! She's back! Stay tuned if you want to see all the jobs we've already started to do. Many surprises as well. Of course, many surprises. 